Kamala Harris. I'm going to now direct this at Vice President Biden. Hello, darkness, my old friend. She appeared with Stephen Colbert. Again, doing real hard-hitting interviews here with, with folks like Stephen Colbert. And, and now you guys seem to be pals. Stephen Colbert asked her, you, remember that time you, you were actually calling your running mate a racist who might have raped people? <laughs> remember that time? It was kind of awkward, right? You were out there and you were like, well, he might be a sexual harasser. Maybe a sexual assault. I don't know. Remember that time that you were saying that he was going to prevent little girls like you from going to school? And Kamala Harris is like, <laughs> she breaks into an awkward laugh. And then she admits full on that she's just a damned liar. So here's Stephen Colbert. And, and, and even Colbert was like, um, this is awkward because now you're basically just admitting that you're a horrible politician who lies a lot. Here was a, a very awkward moment. The media will completely just forget five seconds from now. And how do you go from being such a passionate opponent on such bedrock principles for you. And, and now you guys seem to be pals. It was a debate. <laughs> Not everybody landed punches like you did though. It was a debate. <laughs> so you don't mean it. It was a debate that the whole reason, literally it was a debate. <laughs> it was called a debate. <laughs> Slap on that Cesar Romero and go for it, man. It was a debate. So I was a damn liar. I was lying. Okay, some of us at the time said she was a damn liar. There were some of us at the time who said she's lying right now. She doesn't support force busing. She's just going after Joe Biden. And people are like, no, there was a little girl living in the Berkeley area who almost couldn't go to an integrated school because of Joe Biden. She's sincere. She is authentic. She's experienced the lives of hardship of people of color in the United States because of people like Joe Biden. You remember that? Remember that time? And now here she's on Colbert being like, yeah, I just lie. I just lie. <laughs> isn't that kind of incredible? I mean, truly, isn't that kind of amazing? Like she doesn't even have to come up with a plausible explanation on how she shifted from Biden. Is he a rapist or a racist? To Biden is the greatest thing since sliced bread, and I love him so much. And also, by the way, here's a cup of hemlock for you, Joe. Like, isn't it incredible how she went from Joe Biden is the worst person I've ever met to Joe Biden is the greatest, most wonderful, kindest human being I've ever met, Manchurian candidate style. Remember? And then she openly admits that she was just lying because it was a debate. I mean, isn't that kind of unbelievable? How does she get away with that? How? How does she get away with And you know the answer how she gets away with that. Because the media do not give two dams. The same people who will sit there and call Donald Trump a liar day after day after day and rightly call him out when he does something that is wrong and sometimes not rightly call him out when he does something that isn't particularly wrong. They will sit there and pretend this never happened. They will pretend that it's okay for Joe Biden to hide in the basement and talk to Cardi B, but not journalists, and for Kamala Harris to go on national television and say openly that she is a damned liar. That in debate, you're allowed to say anything, anything. It's absolutely incredible. So, you know, I, just, just worthy of note, when the media focus endlessly on the U.S. Postal Service and the scandal therein, a scandal that does not exist, and ignore the fact that Kamala Harris just outed herself as an open liar about her own running mate, just recognize that we are living in a universe where truth does not matter. The only thing that matters is the narrative. And we should all just continue to believe, believe, listen, and believe. Joe Biden is a great candidate. He has not lost anything off his fastball. And Kamala Harris is authentic and wonderful and completely honest with you, the American people.